Afternoon is just with the mess and my news is real. Kim Kardashian tweets back to Donald Trump. Please stop tweeting and golfing while people are dying. Step up and help. Meanwhile, she's somewhere getting her hair done. Not helping either. <laughs> well, she could thank her husband and her stepmother for that. <laughs> Speaking of Donald Trump, Erica Campbell of Mary Mary admitted to voting for him. She said it was the Christian thing to do. Hey, uh, okay, who told her to tell us that? That should have stayed between her and the Lord. Well, we know one thing. He gonna put them shackles on her feet for sure. <laughs> so sorry, God. A couple days ago, Toya Wright and Alexis Skye were out showing off their baby bumps. Fuck a gender reveal. Where's the baby father reveal party for both of them? <laughs> sorry. Tyrese posts a picture of rapper Triple X Temptation. Did I say that right? Basically bashing the kid. Now he does look bad, but I think he needs more help than judgment. But who asked Tyresha? This is coming from the guy who publicly reaches out to people like his ex-wife and The Rock, like he doesn't have their numbers. I don't know who's worse, Tyrese or Peter, the Atlanta housewife. <laughs> Good evening, it's Jess with the mess, and my news is real. During a recent interview, Portia Williams of Real Housewives of Atlanta says that she was not kicked off the show. That's not true. I was not kicked off the show. Now, they may have asked me not to come back, but I wasn't kicked off no show. Oh, why? So they nicely kicked you off. But nevertheless, definitely was a kickoff. Black China's mom, Tokyo Tony, takes a shot at OJ Simpson. Not a chance in hell. Like, bitch, I just got out of jail. You'd be great, girl, for material if I was a nigga still in there. Like, if I needed some drugs smuggled in, you'd be the first on my list, Tokyo. <laughs> Sorry. Little Richard hints he's no longer gay. I mean, why not? He's 84. That's an acceptable age to terminate your membership. Guess there's no more tutti fruity. <laughs> a wop, bop, a loop, bop, a wop, bam, boom. <laughs> sorry. So sorry. Tyrese is still crying about Fast and the Furious. He tweets to The Rock, you're still promoting a movie nobody wants to see made, you clown. Niggas definitely want to see it. Boo, they should do a Roman must die. Or go work on Waste Deep too. Good afternoon, it's Jess with the mess and my news is real. Several Denny's employees are fired after making black customers pay for their food before they eat. First of all, which blacks actually did that? Boo, you're fucking stupid. And then Denny's? Boy, if y'all don't get that holiday and complimentary breakfast bullshit the fuck up out of here. Sorry, Tyrese, finally, finally, finally! Post something meaningful. Apparently he bought his mother, who's been sober for 11 years, a house. Maybe he finally woke up and smelled what The Rock was cooking. <laughs> Tyrese also makes the cover of Forbes. Oh, no, no, no. I actually mean he made it himself. <laughs> Definitely Photoshop. BET cancels being Mary Jane. All right, so I'm just gonna throw it out there. Two words, 50 cent. <laughs> Sorry. Everybody applauds Eminem for his Trump freestyle, as everyone is calling him a real nigga. Now, I love Eminem to death. I would fuck him. But could he go up to Snoop and say, you're a real nigga? Oh, I. <laughs> Good afternoon, it's Jess with the mess, and my news is real. Petty Eddie, 50 Cent, seems to be lashing out against everyone. First, it was Wendy Williams. Now, it's Angie Martinez. Well, let's not do too much on this story, or I'll be next. And then I'll have to get in his ass. Boy Scouts of America will now accept girls. I thought they had Girl Scouts already. Pregnancy rates just went all the way up. <laughs> just expect a lot of baby scouts. <laughs> so sorry. Everyone is encouraging Eminem for president. Well, before we do that, can we check on his baby mother? Did he kill her? So sorry. Azalea Banks has concert tickets on Groupon for $16 now. You get a ticket, you get a ticket, you get a ticket. <laughs> Happy belated birthday to Usher Raymond. He and his celebrity friends rented out a skating rink and had a lot of fun. Before the cutting of the cake, a blunt was rolled and sparked for celebration. Okay, who rolled it? And did he hit it last or was it? I don't know, never mind. So sorry. Happy birthday, Usher. Um, hey, what's up? You know what I hate? When a fucking MUA tries to charge you based on who you are. Like her real prices ain't on her website. I get my makeup done and I look at it, not too happy. You know, it's just a basic ass face. Then she swore she did some extra smoky shit under my eyes, but bitch, you just got bleedy eyeliners. That's what it was. My eyeliner was just bleeding and shit. So when she's done, she's like, how you wanna pay? I'm like, how much I owe you? So that'll be 150. For this? She's like, mm-hmm. So I asked, how many days does it stay on? 150, did you lift my cheekbones? She's like, no, 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 that's just what I charge. And my product is expensive. Well, I'm like, bitch, I wish you would've let me know that. It's a Walgreens right across the street. They got CoverGirl, Maybelline, L'Oreal, NYX. She's like, oh no, I only use Fenty. Oh, well for 150, bitch, why I don't look like Rihanna? You using Fenty, this ain't no Fenty B. Well, I'm a celebrity MUA. I did Cardi B makeup. Oh, that's good. Before or after billboards. Cause bitch, it's a big difference. Bitch, I'm not paying that. You got any dishes 
bitches I can walk. All right, now I'm back on my shit. So apparently Azalea Banks got a problem with the just with the mess of the day. Azalea no bank, rather. Bitch mad at me because I ticket $16 on Groupon. Bitch, I can't make that up. I told you my news is real, bitch. Bitch gonna say I'm on a wild and out tour. Bitch, I'm on my own tour. No wild and out. And my comedy show tickets is more than your concert tickets. Bitch, you giving them away and they still ain't selling out. Matter of fact, you should join the wild and out tour. That'll be the first time you ever sold out a show, bitch. Bitch, if you don't get your little boy body built Android Tiana Taylor iPhone 3 quality face ad. Bitch, your talent on Nextel. You distinct out this bitch. Bitch, get that blue blue EP list the fuck up out of here. And you look like you lit down the street, bitch, like your nickname Darius. I'm not giving you no pass. Everybody talking about something wrong with her. Bitch, you stupid, but you stupid, stupid. You should be happy I even put you in my news. Niggas was like, damn, she got tickets? Exactly. That bitch trying to do shows. Talking about wilding out, bitch. I'm about to wild you out. Matter of fact, I give you my spot on the show just so people can know who you are. Clown. Bitch, come from me. Good morning, it's Jess for the Mess, and my news is real. Young Dolph releases his own line of merchandise, including bulletproof flat jackets. Enough is enough. At this point, he's just letting them know. Shoot me in my head next time. He was also offered a role in Final Destination 7, as he has become the master of cheating death. Jason Derulo gets a lot of backlash behind his home burglary. $680,000 stolen. It's always the same number. <laughs> then who just has that laying around in the house? So celebrities just think that they're so safe that they don't need a safe. And then why all the backlash? Kim robbed herself. <laughs> Sorry. Kevin Hart flips his cheating scandal into a joke to promote his tour. And he's getting a lot of backlash as well. But think about it. Maybe the scandal was promotion the whole time. <laughs> Stay woke. Because I definitely already got my tickets. DJ Duffy was allegedly caught cheating on her fiance with French Montana. Duffy claims that French Montana is one of her best friends. Amber and Chloe said the same thing. He's my best friend. <laughs> Good afternoon, it's Jess with a mess and my news is real. Black queen Tyrese calls out young jock, insisting that young jock lied about a picture that was supposedly photoshopped of him. But you photoshopped your whole self on a Forbes cover, sis. <laughs> Damn it, Gina, don't be the pot calling the kettle or the kettle call. Frank Ocean wins 14.5 million after defamation lawsuit. Okay, get that coin, sis. <laughs> Did I do it right? Sorry. I'm sorry. Love and Hip Hop, Hazel E's boyfriend is exposed for being gay and on the down low. At this point, it's 2017. Boo, door was already open. Just come out of the closet. Congratulations to the Davises. Or is it David's son? Because last night I could have sworn they said David's son, but his last name is Davis. Either way, Keisha Kayor and Gucci Man finally tied the knot. Gucci's vowels were so sweet. Put that ring up on your finger, cause that my baby Keisha. Got off at reception, cause we got wings and peace. Walking down the aisle, I'm like, oh my goodness gracious, that's Mrs. Davis. What's up, Syracuse, New York? I'm here. And guess what? Chris found me a Geno's cheese sticks. So he treated me to lunch or whatever. But at his card decline. No, it didn't. Yeah, it definitely did. But what I was going to say was, after the first one declined, then he used the second one. I used the and joint account. Joint with the fuck who? What you mean with who? We don't have joint accounts. Oh, my God. You should not joint with me. We not even on the joint level. The fuck? <laughs> Ain't no ring. We not married. That's when niggas get jointy. When Don't niggas say get jointy. Yeah, when niggas get married. When they get a ring, then why we become we, jointy. Why we not use your card then? Hey, I. Nigga talking about why I ain't use my card. Like, you supposed to be treating me to lunch. Oh, we no, joint uh, enough for me to pay. We though. damn sure joint enough for you to pay. Anyway, get your tickets for Syracuse, the motherfucking show I added on Thursday, y'all. 7 30. Meet me at the Funny Bone this Thursday. Link in my bio for the tickets that was just added for the Thursday show. Good evening, it's Jess with the Mass, and my news is real. Bow Wow lets everyone know that he was a part of Death Row Records. I bet he was, because Jermaine Dupri was definitely singing in all the songs, dancing all up in the video. <laughs> Sorry. It's Transformation Tuesday as we take a look at Sam Smith, who, by the way, is looking like a smack. <laughs> I hope he's been delivered. I mean, his head even lost weight. Black China and Lisa Bloom seems to be celebrating the holiday as they're dancing to Thriller in her kitchen. I wonder what Lisa will be for Halloween. Hopefully a real lawyer. <laughs> Sorry. Speaking of Black China, she's suing the whole Kardashian. Oh, girl, let it go. Apple customers are still asking what the difference is between the iPhone 7 and iPhone 8. One. <laughs> Just kidding. The same difference between candy yams and sweet potatoes. Love and Hip Hop Hollywood has finally, finally, finally ended. On the season finale, Ray J tries to downplay B2K's history. B2K definitely had more hits than Ray J. As a matter of fact, I was the one who said I loved you first. Boo. Come on, LeBron. Real, real, real quick, real, let's chill on LeBron. Can you pause it real quick? I'll tell you something. 
All right, look, I ain't want to be the one to tell you, but this chick was coming at you real crazy. Who, on... who coming at me? No, 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 just just calm down. I know how you get. I ain't going to tell you her name because it's going to make you real mad, but let's just say she from Love and Hip Hop. Know me. They, I know they don't know you, but you know she was saying some. Show me, mommy. No, I don't. I don't really want to show, show you. Show me right now. I, man, I, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you, but you can't laugh when you see her, okay? Because I, I know you're gonna get all cracked up inside because of how she looked. But I, I don't really want you to, to take it there, okay? Because I don't want you to become no baby bully. You got me? All right, I'm gonna show you. Hey yo. What? What you think? Okay, we'll see it because I'm not old enough. Hey, yo. Good evening, it's Jess with a mess, and I am getting a super wig tomorrow. Actor Jermaine Hopkins from movies Lean On Me and Juice was arrested for six pounds of marijuana. Oh, I'm sure Mr. Clark is definitely disappointed. Sing the school song. Fair Isa. Loyalty, loyalty. Well, he has the juice now. <laughs> so sorry. Derek Rose was injured again. Unsurprisingly, at this point, what took him so long? <laughs> so sorry, sorry, he's very cute. Utah teen will be tried for helping his friend commit suicide. Talk about ride or die, that's a real one. Imagine that kid on the stand. I don't know why I'm going to jail for this. He definitely still would've did it without me. And then just what did they do that he needed help to kill himself? Mariah Carey's home gets burglarized for $50,000 worth of merchandise, I'm pretty sure as she probably laid there in front of the fucking Christmas tree and watched them do it. <laughs> Balenciaga releases rubber car mat skirts. Well, here comes Rihanna.